Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here, and welcome back to the Minecraft Lord of the Rings mod! Look who's behind me. It's Gandalf. And he's walking away. Wait, wait. It's not Gandalf, it's the Grey Wanderer. Anyway, I'm jumping up and down, and I'm standing in front of the Prancing Pony in Bree, because I can. You notice something weird is happening right now? It is essentially noon, but it looks like the sun is going down. The colors are all weird. And that's because I am using Silder Shaders, which, if you've ever tried it, you know has a problem with the Minecraft Lord of the Rings day-night cycle. The day-night cycle in Minecraft Lord of the Rings mod is doubled from 20 minutes of the original Minecraft to 40 minutes. So the shaders are hard-coded to the original Minecraft day-night cycle, and they get a little bit screwed up. They're confused right now because even though it's noon in Middle Earth, they think the sun is going down. So the colors get all weird. And I've actually done a video on this in the past, but I'm going to show you a much easier, faster way that hopefully will allow other people to do it that originally didn't want to take the time. We're going to get right into it. Let's do this. The first thing we need to do is download Notepad++, which is essentially an enhanced version of the Notepad app that comes with Windows. Once that's done and installed, we are ready to go. As you can see, I've installed Notepad++. I have the version of Silder shaders that I want to fix. We're going to open that really quick and we're going to extract the shaders folder. So it's on my desktop as well and we can get rid of this. If you open this up, you will see that there are a bunch of files. And in my old video, I went through each one of these files separately one by one and did a find and replace and it took a long time and it was probably pretty annoying for most people. So we're gonna use Notepad++ to make things a whole lot easier. We are gonna go to finding files. Now you can see that I did a bit of testing and I already have the folder set up to the desktop shaders. What you need to do is make sure that this directory here is set up to the shader folder we just extracted. Now find what? We're going to find world time. Make sure the T in world time is capitalized exactly the same as me. Match case is selected just in case. <laughs> I'm here all week. Replace with LOTR time. You can use any variable here you want, but let's just say LOR time to keep it consistent and make sure the T is capitalized again. We're going to replace in files. Okay. Okay. It should do a bunch and it says 65 occurrences were replaced. All right, the next step is gonna look a little bit complicated, but it's really simple actually. And I will put the exact commands I'm gonna type here in the video description so you can just copy and paste them directly, all right? So we're gonna find this uniform int LOTR time, which is declaring a variable. And we are going to replace it again in the files with this. All right, it looks a little bit complicated, like I said, but you don't need to worry about the specifics. You just need to follow exactly what I'm doing and look in the video description. Replacing files, boom. Replace 22 occurrences. Now that was simple, right? Because we are done. All you need to do is you're going to make an archive. Let's call it the mic fix. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because I'm super lazy, all right? Done. We now have that archive and we are ready to put this in our shader folder and we're ready to go back into Minecraft and see if it worked. So these are the original shaders. You can see the color is still all weird. Let's flip over to the new ones we just fixed and check it out. Ah, Sam, it's working. We now have proper sunlight and everything should be functioning perfectly. A quick side note, even though we have just fixed the day night cycle, these shaders still do have some issues with Minecraft Lord of the Rings. Uh, one being waving things like trees and grass and stuff that would generally wave when these shaders are enabled. A lot of them don't work in Middle Earth because Middle Earth has its own grass and its own trees and everything else like that. So they need to be manually added into the shaders themselves. And that's a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial, but maybe I'll do a video in the future if you guys are interested. You're also always going to have trouble with the Middle Earth sky. It is not compatible with these shaders and it needs to be disabled in the Lord of the Rings config menu, which means that you're going to have things like the sun shining in Mordor and stuff, which is really unavoidable as far as I know. If anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know and I'll do a video on that too. As usual, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it made things a little bit easier for those of you who like to use shaders in the Lord of the Rings mod. As always, I will see you in Middle Earth.